Hello and welcome to a pro patch breakdown here at LOL Class. Let's take a look at this week's changes. For jungle, uh, Ferocity is still going to be strong um, as the damage dealing mastery page. For attack damage junglers like Rek'Sai, Lee Sin, Kindred, and champions that just uh, want more attack damage than defensive stats, you're going to go 18 into Ferocity. The way that I think it'll be best for um, a jungler would be 5 points into Fury. And then if the jungler doesn't need sustain, which most junglers probably won't need sustain, you'll go double-edged sword just for more increased damage than vampiricism, bounty hunter, bounty hunter or oppressor. Um, bounty hunter, I, I would say for um, junglers where you think you're going to snowball and get a lot of kills like Lee Sin or something. And then oppressor would be more for just um, like the more consistent mastery. Um, and then after that, you'd go five points into buffering blows just because seven armor pen is ridiculous. And I would say fervor of battle would be the best mastery when looking at um, them for jugglers, just because of uh, the fact that you could get the stacks up and keep them up like in the jungle and then gank with um, a decent amount of stacks, uh, apply them and just be able to do a decent amount of damage considering how much it stacks. And it will also help your strength in um, long, long drawn out battles. So that would be your 18 in Ferocity. Uh, I, would say, I would say that you'd still go 12 points into Resolve, which is the defensive mastery just because that seems like the more logical things for jungler when you're just eyeballing it. And the way that I think you would do this is you'd go five points into unyielding. Yeah, five points into unyielding, one point into tough skin, uh, four, uh, five points into veteran scars. And then I would say that most people are gonna end up going one point into insight just for the increased cooldown reduction on your, on your summoner spells. The cunning tree could also be useful for junglers, specifically ones that want that extra boost clearing the jungle in terms of attack damage and speed and don't really care as much about the defensive stats from resolve i think the way that you do this is you go five points into savagery which is pretty much the old butcher um you probably take secret stash over runic affinity just because you don't end up taking that many um buffs as jungler and then you'd go five points into merciless which is pretty much the old executioner and then one point into dangerous game for support, the new kind of support tree is called Cunning, but it's kind of half support and half non-support. So your choice when you're going through the Cunning tree is basically always going to be just the support side. So like the, for the first one, it's there's movement speed out of combat and damage to minions and monsters, and you would never take the damage to minions and monsters, so you're going to get the movement speed out of combat. The next one is buffs last longer or your potions are better. So you're always going to take the potions are better because that's the support choice. Then it's increased damage to champions below 40% HP or a, a bunch of increased mana regen. And you're basically always going to take the, the, the mana since you're the support. The next is bandit. You steal gold. And it's also you get gold when enemy uh, minions die. Or it's champion kills and assists restore 5% of your basic health and mana. They are, you, you'd actually want both of them if you could, but Bandit is like the support mastery, so you're gonna get that 100%. Then the next is per level armor magic penetration or CDR. Cap is increased and you get CDR, which is a very cool mastery and it's 100% what you're gonna get no matter what, because you're a support. But the CDR cap is actually really good for supports, or it's really good for some supports since getting above, CDR gets better the more you have of it. So getting to 45% or the 40 is actually really good if you can do it on certain supports. Like Thresh, for example, because of his, his hook reducing by a flat that amount means that you're going to get a significant more amount of hooks if you're 45% CDR than if you're 40% if you're hitting them. And then for the 21 mastery, there's three choices. There's one, if you deal 30% of a champion's max health, you get bonus move speed. You're never going to do that as a sport, so <laughs> you can forget that one. Then there's your third attacker spell deals bonus damage based on your bonus attack damage and your ability power. And since you don't really have either of those as a sport, you're really not going to get this one either. So the only one that you would get are your heals and shields are 10% stronger and they give resistances to your allies when you cast them on them and that's really good if you heal and shield but not all supports do so if you are a heal and shield you're 100 going 18 into this tree and getting this if you're not you're going into the defensive tree which you're gonna likely go into for 12 points no matter what but i'll go through the first 12 points first so the first one is health regen or bonus armor magic resist you're probably not going to get enough bonus armor magic resist on most supports so i would say you're most likely just getting the health regen for that one but that's a bit more of a choice then there's movement speed versus you take two less damage from champion and monster basic attacks. There, you're probably just gonna want the movement speed just because taking two less damage from champions is quite good, but the fact that it doesn't take two less damage from minions is like a, a pretty big like negative in this one. The other ones would usually reduce your damage from minions, so when you traded in lane, you would take the minion aggro, but you would, you know, 
take a lot less damage because of that kind of mastery, but just taking it from champions and monsters is not what you want from his, from the mastery as much. But some people will still get it, it's still not bad. Then there's Runic Armor, which is to all shields and healing on you, which is not bad if you're a shield or healer champion. And then Veteran Scar, which is percent bonus health, which is very good, and you'll probably want to get that most of the time. Then tier four is your summoner spells have 15% reduced cooldown versus 15% health or gen. That's increased to 200% when you're below 20% HP. Summoner spells having 15% reduced cooldown is what you basically always want, and what you is why you're going to be going 12 into this tree if you have 18 into the utility tree, since you really want that. And now if you are going 21 defense, which I think a lot of supports are going to end up doing, or 18 defense, sorry. A lot of supports are going to end up doing since they don't really want the healing and shielding of the cunning tree. You then have the choice of percent tenacity and slow resist, which is nice, but not as good as the other one, which is plus three armored magic resist for each nearby enemy champion. Since you're in a two versus two lane, you're going to be getting, getting six armored magic resist, which is a ton and something you definitely want. Now your tier six, the 18th point is first every four seconds in combat, your next auto against any enemy champion steals life equal to 3% of your max health, which is fine if you're a super tank support, but I mean, it's good if you're a super tank support. Besides that, it's bad. Strength of the Ages is large monsters to these minions to give you permanent health. You don't care about that. That's a jungling one. And then Bond of Stone is what you're usually going to want as a support. It's quite good. It's plus 4% damage reduction all the time, but if you're near an ally, it's double to 8% damage reduction. And if that champion is dealt damage, they 8% of the damage they would take is also dealt to you. So 8% is reduced from you, and you're absorbing 8% of the damage from your AD carry, which is a very good thing. Like, these are both extremely good things. And that's okay that you have, like, two choices, but once you actually make that choice, it's pretty defined what you're doing in each of the trees, especially for the utility tree. It's extremely defined on which masteries you're taking, and I, I wish that wasn't the case. I wish there was more, like, micro decisions and more choice. I think having more choice allows people to kind of... Uh, get more benefits from being smart about this kind of thing, and that's what I would prefer. On AD carry, I'll most likely go 21 in Ferocity, and then 9 in Cunning or Resolve, depending on your champion. Uh, on the Ferocity tree, I would go attack speed if I'm playing a champ, like let's say Caitlyn or Kalista, something like this. But if I'm playing Varus or Ezreal, um, like Pogish champions, then maybe you want to have increased ability and spell damage. Um, so yeah. You just take attack speed on jumps that attack a lot more with autos and the other one on casters like Vowers, Estrell, etc. Then in the next tree you can go either Feast, which is uh, the old mastery, just remade in a different way. And the other one is uh, more damage and more damage taken, double edged sword, it's the same one. I mean, I guess if you play a champ where you literally never take damage, you can go double edged sword. Before, no one took this art mastery, but I think I will still go for Feast. This is a pretty good uh, lane mastery, it helps a lot. In next tree, you can go either lifesteal or you can go for more AD per level. I would most likely go AD per level every time, since lifesteal is not a bad stat, but it's not really that useful, I think, compared to the 10 AD you get at level 18. It's not much either, but I think the AD is better than lifesteal. In next, next tree, it's kind of a, a choice, I think. It's a more of an early game against scaling because the 2.5% more damage through targets that are CC'd is stronger early game, whereas the Bounty Hunter Mastery that gives you 1% more damage for each unique champion you kill is more like strong late game. It's like a buff that gives you 5% more damage if you kill 5 different champions in the game. So I guess it's more of a... If you have CC or if you have an early game style comp, then you might want to take the Oppressor. I'm not sure about this one, honestly. I think I would take the Bounty Hunter one. Then this one is pretty obvious. Uh, we're playing AD carry here, not AP carry, so we're going for the arm penetration. And then the last one, I would, I think that the Warlord's Bloodlust is not so useful, um, to be honest, compared to Fervor of Battle and Deathfire Touch. So I think I would go Fervor of Touch most of the time because stacking seems pretty, I wouldn't say overpowered, but it feels like you just have ten stacks all the time in lane. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll go with Favor Battle most of the time, or Defy Touch seems more of a, what's it called, caster each spell, I mean mastery to take, because it makes the opponent bleed of your uh, abilities. Then, most of the time, you will always go for the defense, which is uh, Resolve now, or you go, or actually, both are like a bit deep, the, the, um, I think it depends on what you want to go here, honestly. But 
because in the Cunning Tree, there is the Merciless uh, Mastery, which gives you more damage to people that are low on HP. Whereas the other three, you get more tanky stats, which was what you used to take. You used to take um, more HP, less damage taken from basic attacks. So I think I would go for Resolve. And here I would take the HP region from Recovery over the bonus Magic Resist Armor, because it doesn't do anything. Then I would take two less damage from Champion and Monster basic attacks. And then I would most... This is actually an interesting choice. Like, Veteran Scars gives you more total HP, which is what you used to take. But the other one is, is pretty good because it makes you lifesteal more as well. So I think if you play a champion, like let's say Kalista or Kinnon, where you build Blade and PT, then I think you can go for the Runic Armor, because it gives you a lot more lifesteal. If not, take the other one. Then you have one choice. You have Summon Spells cooldowns, or you have Preservance. And here I think I'll go always Summon the cooldowns. I think the other tree is kind of good because you get dangerous game and uh, merciless, but I feel like most of the time I would go for uh, the resolve 12 points there.